is the degree of ice to liquid saturation, a freezing function, which we call SL. And the porosity, sorry, the porosity, which we call phi in this case. Very important also is the thermal conductivity lambda. Now lambda combines the solid, the liquid, and the ice phases through this geometrical mean term given here, <coughs> which varies with the freezing function. The freezing function is obtained empirically as a function of porosity and temperature. Here's the equation, and the, pro the empirical terms alpha and beta vary with our profiles because they depend on porosity <coughs> and gradient. And so we can write that equation out, and we can solve it for any combination of profile ABC and boundary conditions at the top and the bottom. OK, so what do we do? We build up a big database of finite element analyses, hundreds of cases that match <coughs> our conditions within our study area. Then we can do thermal mapping by a sort of speed dating, where you go look at a point on a map, you look at its attributes, and you find the best fitting finite element model. And you adopt